Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of College and Career Pathways, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m., we provide you with information on various colleges, universities, financial aid resources, skilled trade professions and programs, and career readiness skills, all designed to help you make the best career decisions possible. I'm Tony Kirchin, your host, and today we are with Dorsey College. Sean, it is always a pleasure to have you here to share information on Dorsey. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you inviting me to talk with your students, and I'm very excited. I am going to go ahead and make you co-host, and you can open up your screen and share. Awesome. All right, there we go. Very good. Well, thank you so much and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Dorsey College. Uh, my name is Sean Gordon. I'm one of the directors of admissions and I'm very excited to be able to bring you information about Dorsey College and all we have to offer. Um, I hope that if you have any questions, my contact information will be included and you can also speak to Ms. Kiriton, but I'd be very excited to have you come visit one of our campuses. Dorsey College has been around for a long time. We're actually uh, the oldest career training college in Michigan. We've been around since 1934. Uh, we were originally Dorsey Schools. So you may remember some of the commercials or advertisements for Dorsey Schools. Well, we're now Dorsey College. Uh, not much has changed. Uh, we still have the same standard of excellence that we have always embodied. The only difference is now as a college, we're able to offer just some more varying degree programs for our students. So you will see uh, that we do have some additional programs that we are able to offer now. We do have seven campuses across Southeastern Michigan. Uh, our Madison Heights campus, which is our main campus right on John R. Road between 13 and 14 mile. We have our Wayne campus, which is in Wayne, Michigan, right near Westland. Our Roseville campus on the east side, our Dearborn Detroit campus, which literally borders Dearborn and Detroit, our Woodhaven campus, our Saginaw campus for those that are in the Saginaw Flint area, and then our Taylor campus offers our, one of our schools of beauty. So we have a number of different locations. Uh, so no matter where you live, there is a campus location that may be close to you. All of our campuses are situated on the bus line as well. So if you find that you're taking the bus to school, that's perfectly okay. You'll be able to access our campuses. All of our campuses also offer free parking for our students. So if you are driving or even if you're getting dropped off at school, uh, we have plenty of parking to accommodate you as well. Something that's very important that I think you should inquire about any school that you're interested in is their accreditation. And yes, we are a fully institutionally nationally accredited school. That basically means that there's someone else that monitors everything that we do and holds us accountable to a certain standard of excellence besides ourselves. Uh, we're also licensed to the state of Michigan. Many of our programs will allow our students to sit for their licensings or certifications in order to work in their career fields. So in order to be able to offer our students that, we have to be licensed to the state of Michigan. And good news is we are. This is our mission statement. Every school, every company, every business has a mission statement. What I appreciate about Dorsey is I feel like we actually live by it. So our goal is to make sure we're producing the most competent, top quality professionals out there in the industry. So in doing so, we have to make sure we provide our students with some of those kind of supportive or wraparound services. So you'll find as you visit our campuses and as you become a student, that there's a whole host of people that are there that are concerned with your success and your well-being. And we do understand that sometimes things outside of school affect your ability to do well in school. So we have a number of different resources to be able to support our students as well. The good news is there's always someone to come to, whether it's someone in the admissions department, our financial aid staff, um, our student success coordinators, we have career services advisors, there's managing directors at each one of our campuses, and they're pretty much equivalent to the principal of the school. So they are there to support you as well. But there's always someone that you can reach out to that will be able to at least guide you in the right direction or connect you with who you need to be able to support you. 
So some of the things that kind of set Dorsey College apart from a lot of other schools is our hands-on training. So besides all of the academics that you're receiving in your program, all of the things that our students are learning, they're actually doing as well. That way you receive that hands-on environment, the skills that you need in order to be successful in your career fields. Many of our programs encompass either an externship or a clinical component besides the in-classroom and labs that you receive as well. We do have smaller class sizes than what a lot of people are traditionally accustomed to. So that way it's an environment that's conducive to learning. Your instructors know you, they know you by name, they know who you are. So if you don't come to class that day, they'll reach out to you. If they find that you're struggling or you need extra help, it's more of a smaller learning environment. So that way you can get that more individualized attention that you may need as well. We also utilize smart technology. So all of the computers and softwares and things that you need in order to be successful, as well as the tools that you need for your program, you'll receive as well. All of our students receive a laptop and we'll talk about that in some of our additional slides, but you'll receive your laptop that's yours to keep. Uh, again, as well as the tools that you'll need to be successful in your clinicals and in your um, externships as part of your program. Program-specific curricula, that basically means all the classes that you're taking directly pertain to the career field that you're going into. So there's no additional classes that you don't need in order to work in your career field. If you're in a program that is one year or less, you'll find that all of your classes are directly pertaining to your career field. If you're in one of our two-year programs, that would be an associate degree program. You will have some of your liberal arts, but again, everything relates back to the career field that you're going into. And that kind of leads to fast track programs. All of our programs are two years or less. Average program is about a year. So fairly quickly you're done with school. But in that time frame, you're also getting all of the skills, all of the academics, all the knowledge that you need in order to be prepared for that career field. And we do have a number of different class schedules as well. All of our students go to school full time, but those schedules range from either a morning schedule from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. or an afternoon schedule could be from 1 p.m. until 6 p.m. And our evening schedules are 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So if you're looking to work while you're in school, you're able to do that as well. So very convenient class schedules and those schedules do vary depending on the program that you're going into. Classes also run Monday through Friday. Um, some classes run Monday through Thursday, some programs are Monday through Friday, but no weekend classes for you. So let's talk a little bit about some of the programs that we have to offer. So on the medical or allied health side, we have a number of different programs that are available for our students, um, whether it's the radiology technology program, very popular program that is a two-year associate degree program a sterile processing technician program, uh, which is another very popular program. That program is six months and it teaches you the skills that you need to process uh, medical instrumentation for surgeries. So whether it's a sterilization procedure, understanding the medical um, devices and, and uh, instrumentation that you need to know, and you're eligible to work in any type of medical setting that requires surgical instrumentation. Medical Laboratory Assistant is another six-month program that we offer that teaches you your phlebotomy skills and allows you to work in a laboratory setting. Our Medical Assistant and Patient Care Technician programs are one year. And then we also have our Dialysis Patient Care Technician program, which actually mirrors the Patient Care Tech program, but you get the additional skills that you need to work as a dialysis technician in a dialysis environment. That program is 13 and a half months. Our dental assisting program allows you to work in a dental environment. Uh, that would be a one-year program. Our pharmacy technician program allows you to work in a pharmacy environment, uh, filling prescriptions and working with customers and insurance companies. That would be a seven and a half month program. Medical administration and billing. If you're kind of interested in the medical field, but not necessarily direct patient care, you kind of want to be behind the scenes. You want to learn the billing and the accounting and the coding portion of the medical uh, field, then that could be a good program for you. That's also a one-year program. Massage therapy. It kind of teeters between being either a medical program or not, because you can work in a medical setting 
as a massage therapist, or you could work in more of um, an aesthetic setting, uh, like a salon as a massage therapist. That program is one year as well. Emergency medical technician and paramedic. Both of those are that's two separate programs. The EMT program is five months. The paramedic program is one year. And of course, you're able to work in emergency situations, whether it's for um, a hospital or it could be for a sports arena or for EMT or uh, ambulance company. There's a lot of different opportunities for EMTs and paramedics. Our School of Nursing houses two different programs. One will be the Practical Nurse Program. Uh, many people know it as being the LPN or Licensed Practical Nursing Program. And you are able to sit for your license in order to be licensed as a practical nurse. You do have to be licensed in order to work in your career field. Uh, that program is one year. It is an accelerated program. And then we also offer our Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, which is a RN, a registered nursing program. That is a two-year associate degree program. Both programs, of course, are approved through the Board of Nursing, which is very, very important. And you're able to sit for your nursing license upon completion so that you're able to work in your career field. Our School of Beauty, amazing programs. We offer cosmetology, which teaches you every phase of cosmetology. So hair, makeup, nails, um, eyelash, eyebrows, everything that encompasses a cosmetology license will be taught in the cosmetology program. Now, what if you're just interested in learning the manicuring portion? Well, we do have a separate manicuring program that will teach you those skills. That's a five-month program. Esthetician, another amazing program. It teaches you skincare um, and all of the aesthetics that uh, are involved with being an esthetician. That is also a one-year program. And then once you have your license, if you're interested in learning how to teach cosmetology, we have a cosmetology instructor program that is built around your work schedule as well. On our skilled trade side, we have our electrical technician program and our HVAC technician. HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning Systems. Uh, both of those programs will allow you to be able to work in the skilled trades environment, whether it's existing or new construction, any building, any facility, anywhere that has need of electricity or heating, cooling, or ventilation, you will be able to work in. Uh, the electrical technician program is a one-year program. The HVAC technician is a nine-month program. And again, all of our programs will uh, either have that externship component. So at the end of your program, either the last six or 12 weeks, instead of coming to class, we're actually placing you in the field. So you get that additional hands-on experience in the environment that you may be working in. Uh, and it also includes the tools of your trade. So for example, our electrical tech students and HVAC tech students receive this really cool uh, toolkit that has all of the devices and tools and everything that they're, that they're going to need. Um, on top of that, you're receiving your books as well as your um, electronic device, which is your laptop. Culinary Arts Academy. We have two programs as part of our uh, Culinary Arts Academy. One is the Culinary Arts Program. That program will teach you every phase of culinary arts. It is going to touch on your baking and pastry. You'll learn your regional, international, local cuisines. You'll learn um, your knife skills, charcuterie, uh, mise en place, everything that's associated with being a chef and working in the culinary arts environment. That's a one-year program. Uh, and then if you're more interested in focusing on just the baking and pastry arts, we do have a separate program that focuses on that. That program is also one year. We have our professional kitchens. Um, we have a huge catering department. So our students are really able to showcase their skills. We participate in a lot of competitions, both locally, regionally, and nationally. So our students really get a chance to, to prove their skills amongst other students and professionals that are out there in the industry. Both amazing programs. And of course, you're going to have your chef uniform and your chef hat uh, and an amazing knife kit that you receive as part of your program as well.
So kind of the icing on the cake is career services. Uh, our career services advisors work very closely, not only with our students, but with potential employers. They wanna make sure that they have some resources available for you to transition you from where you are now to where you wanna be. So our career services advisors work at all of our campuses. They'll start assisting you maybe about halfway through your program. They're gonna help you with resume writing. They'll assist you with your interview skills, doing mock interviews, uh, giving you tips and techniques for having a very professional and, and uh, impressive interview. Uh, they're also gonna share employment opportunities with you. Like I said, they are gonna build that rapport with potential employers so that there's really some uh, opportunities that are available for you through our career services office. They're gonna provide you with the support that you need and it's ongoing. So even as a Dorsey alumni, if it's been a year or two or three and you decide, hey, I wanna come back and, and see what things are available for me, they will always be willing to help you. And that's a complimentary service. That's a part of your program. We also have our financial aid advisors that are available to assist you. Financial aid is always that piece that no one kind of enjoys doing. Uh, it's a lot of information, but it's a lot of great information and great opportunities for our students. So we have professional financial aid advisors at all of our campuses, and they start working with you right away, even before you decide to become a student. They want to make sure that they provide you with all the information that you need uh, so that you have the resources that you need for school as well. So they will help you with your FAFSA. Uh, even if you've already done that through your high school, that's great. They'll go over it again, make sure everything is done correctly. They'll talk to you about scholarships. We do offer some internal scholarships that are available for our students. Uh, one in particular is called our Great Start Scholarship. It allows students that when they come in, depending on your program, to be able to receive some additional scholarship funds. And then once you achieve a certain GPA, usually it's either a 2.5 or a 3.0, depending on your program, you're able to receive additional money uh, as you're in school. Uh, we do have also a scholarship that's just for our high school seniors. So when you come and apply for school, they automatically apply that scholarship for you. We do accept outside scholarships too. So any scholarship that will accept us, we'll accept them. And you can continually apply for scholarships even once you're in your program. So our financial aid advisors are able to apply those scholarships to your financial aid package all the way until you graduate. On top of scholarships, of course, there's grants, which is free money that you don't pay back. And then student loans, which is money that you do pay back, but you borrow it for the purposes of going to school. We work with a number of different organizations, uh, such as Michigan Works, uh, Veterans, the VA funding benefits. So if you're a veteran or a dependent of a veteran and you're utilizing those funds, we'll be able to help you with that. There's a lot of other organizations out there too that we work with, like Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Uh, so any questions that you have about financial aid, our financial aid advisors will be able to work with you and help you with that. They'll work and sit down with you and your parents and take you through the, uh, the entire financial aid process. And they're not gonna just kind of leave you to your own devices once you're in school. They keep up with everything for you all the way until you graduate and beyond if need be. So our application process involves either a career planning session or a nursing information session. So if you're looking at any one of our programs other than a nursing program, you will participate in a career planning session. The beautiful thing about the career planning session is it's all about you. It's an opportunity for you and your parents to come in and have a tour of the campus. We want you to see the school, make sure you like the environment, that you're comfortable with the classroom setting. But then they also sit down, go over any program that you're interested in, in detail. So that way you can figure out which one is going to work out best for you. On top of that, you'll also receive a financial aid estimate. So even before you decide to become a student, a financial aid advisor is gonna sit down and talk with you and they're gonna lay out everything. Uh, so that way you'll have a good idea how affordable school can be for you. If you're looking for one of our nursing programs, either the practical nurse program or the registered nurse program, you would attend a nursing information session. 
It's very similar to the career planning session, but it goes over all the details about being accepted into the nursing program. The nursing program, as well as our radiology technician program, is a little bit different for acceptance. Uh, it does require an essay. There's an interview that's involved, um, and there's, there's a, a test that you take as well. So during that nursing information session, we go over all of that with you to help prepare you for everything that you need in order to be accepted into the nursing program. One of the requirements for all of our programs is that you have a high school diploma or equivalent. So congratulations, I know you're well on your way to graduating. You don't have to wait until you walk across stage in order to start the application process with us. If you're a senior, you can do that right now. So we'd be more than happy to go ahead and get you started. So that way you'll get accepted and you'll know when your program starts. Uh, we do have classes that start year round. So we're a little bit different than your traditional environment. Most of us are uh, used to the traditional school setting where you have traditional semesters. We are considered an accelerated learning environment. So our programs are broken up into what we call modules instead of semesters. Those are equivalent to six weeks. So we have classes that start about every six to eight weeks, depending on your program. And we definitely want you to have that desire, interest, and motivation to succeed. We are here to support you. We understand that transitioning from high school to a college environment can be a little bit different. So we do hold your hand a little bit in the beginning, but we wanna make sure that you're comfortable until you transition into your program completely. The model that we have here is that we enroll graduates. It's great to start school, but if you don't finish, it didn't do you a lot of good. So we wanna make sure that we're working very closely with you. We do offer um, uh, tutoring if you need it. So if you find you need any extra help as you're going through school, then talk to your instructors. Your instructors are kind of your first line of defense. They can make sure that they schedule tutoring. We do individual tutoring, we do group tutoring, and you don't even have to be struggling to go to tutoring. You can go just because. But we do offer a number of opportunities for our students to get the extra help that they need so that way you're successful as you're going through school. And then, of course, you have your formal graduation ceremony once you're done with school. Uh, so that way you can celebrate with your friends and family and everyone that was there to support you uh, as you walk across the stage at graduation and into your new career. This is my contact information. Again, my name is Sean Gordon. I work with all of our campuses and all of our programs. My phone number is here as well as my email address. So if you find you have any questions at all, or if you're interested in scheduling a tour of one of our campuses, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to assist you. That was great, Sean. Um, excellent presentation as always. Thank I you. have a couple of questions. Um, the first one is, in order to enroll in Dorsey, students have to have a high school diploma or a GED, correct? Yes, well, in order to start school, you do. So okay. for example, if we have someone that's a senior now, they can go ahead and start the application process. They're just not able to actually start classes until they're done with their high school diploma. So if okay. they're walk or finishing their high school diploma, say in May or June, they can start classes as early as the summer. They don't have to wait until the fall, but they can go through the entire process now, get accepted now, start the financial aid now, so that once they graduate, they have their start date, they know when they're gonna start and they're all set to go. So they don't have to wait. Okay, do you guys have any admission requirements, GPA, test, um, SAT test scores, um, ACT test score, uh, uh, ACT test score requirements? Great question. So we do not have any testing requirements as far as the ACT or SAT. We still want you to take it. You know, if you have an opportunity to take it, still do. That's fine because it may make you eligible for some outside scholarships that are there. Uh, but as far as being accepted into our programs, we don't require those test results. Um, our two programs, actually 
three, our two nursing programs and our radiology tech program have a little bit of a different acceptance process. So there is a test that you take, but we provide that test for you. Okay, and that's for any student that's looking to go through that program. When you attend the information session for those three programs, we'll go through those uh, requirements step by step. Um, there is no GPA requirement either. We want you to graduate high school successfully, um, and we do want you to do your absolute best. Uh, because again, for scholarship opportunities outside of Dorsey, there may be some GPA requirements, and we want you to be eligible for that. But as far as acceptance into the programs here, we don't look at your GPA or your ACT or SAT scores. Good deal. Also, um, in all of the other programs, with the exception of the LPN and the RN, when you complete what type of certification degree do you receive from that program? So it depends on your program. Whatever licensing or certification you need in order to work in your career field is included in your program. For example, cosmetologists have to be licensed as a cosmetology in cosmetology through the state of Michigan. So that's already included in your program and we help prepare you for that uh, licensing. Uh, or that certification. Same way with electrical techs, there's actually quite a few different certifications that you're able to get as you're going through the skilled trades programs. Those are already included in your program and we help prepare you for that. Even with our nursing programs, you're sitting for your nursing license through the Board of Nursing. It's included in your program. The preparation for that is also included. So whatever certification you need in order to work in that career field is already included in your program. And pretty much every one of our programs do have a certification that's attached to it. Oh, good deal. So then uh, the electrical technician, when they complete, they will be licensed journeymen or they will be able to take the exam to become licensed journeymen. It's For that program, it's not a journeyman. That's a separate licensing, but there are a few different certifications that they get as they're going through in different areas. And then, yes, whatever the, the certification or license that they need in order to work as an electrician or electrical technician is mm -hmm. already attached to their program. So we okay. completely prepare you for it, help you set it up, and you sit for it. And it's the, the cost of you taking the exam the first time is already covered as part of your program. So it's not an additional cost for our students. It's pretty exciting. Good deal. And then what is the tuition for? I, I'm sure it varies depending upon which program that it you does. select. But what is the, the range at least for tuition? So, Tuition varies by program. Of course, shorter programs are gonna be less tuition than um, the longer programs. So to give you the exact numbers and be kind of specific, average program is about a year. So for example, medical assisting program, the entire tuition is $22,080. And now, um, and I'll just kind of give you a few so that way you can kind of see the range. Uh, manicuring program is $3,995. That's one of our shorter programs. Our longest program would be either one of our associate degree programs. So for one of our associate programs, I always like being exact too, and I don't memorize all the tuition. <laughs> so the associate of applied science for the radiology technology is 48,000. And so just remember, tuition is for your entire program. So it's not per year or per course or anything like that. It's for your entire program. So it covers everything. Um, it covers books. Uh, you'll get some physical books and a lot of ebooks. It covers your laptop, which is yours to keep. It also covers a uniform for programs that just about all the programs require a uniform. So it will cover at least one of your uniforms. It's going to cover your toolkit. So the cosmetology students receive, you know, all the things that they need in their beauty kit. The skilled trade students receive their toolkits, their um, everything that they need in order to be successful. Uh, the culinary arts students will receive a knife kit as well as their uniform and everything that they need. Uh, nursing students receive their um, stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, things like that. So all of that's included in the program. 
Now, I will say what the tuition does not include is your financial aid. So anything that you get from financial aid uh, deducts from that. Okay, so when you sit down with a financial aid advisor, you'll find out exactly what you receive to kind of chop your tuition down. If there is an out-of-pocket cost after everything is deducted, then we will set up payment plans for you too. So we're not gonna, we're gonna try to figure out how to make things really affordable for you. Okay, good deal, good deal. And then I have last question regarding mm -hmm. the medical laboratory assistant and the dialysis PC technician. Mm -hmm. Now, are those two positions or programs, I'm sorry, are mm -hmm. those programs what a student would go into if they're interested in phlebotomy, becoming a phlebotomist? So the medical lab assistant is definitely going to teach you your phlebotomy skills. So yes, if you're interested in becoming a phlebotomist, great program. The dialysis technician, it will teach you some phlebotomy skills. So you could work as a phlebotomist off of that program but you're gonna get a lot of other skills besides that. So you're going to be able to work in a dialysis environment, um, like maybe at a dialysis clinic, to give you an example of some is like Fresenius and um, DaVita, those are all dialysis clinics, as well as maybe dialysis units in a hospital, anything that kind of specializes in that skill. But also as part of the dialysis program, um, it's called dialysis patient care tech. So you are getting your patient care skills too. So if you do decide to work in an environment that's not related to dialysis, that's okay. You're still going to have your patient care skills. So you will receive some of those phlebotomy skills, dialysis skills, and patient care skills as well for that program. You get a lot in, in, that, uh, in that period of time, that 13 and a half months. Good deal. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Sean. Um, You're welcome. Excellent presentation. Dorsey is excellent program. You know, I've been fans of you guys for many, many years. <laughs> and that, that, that last question was specifically because I have a student, you know, that wants to get into phlebotomy. And I know those two programs would, they kind of overlap and they touch on what she's interested in. And so that's why I wanted specific so I can send her your way. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Well, uh, again, thank you so much, Sean. We're going to bring this session to a close and um, we will be in touch. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a great day, Sean. Thank you. You too. Bye now. Bye-bye.